Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to remove the cigarette lighter panel on a Toyota Corolla. The first step is to remove the cup holder. To see how I removed it, check out the video linked up in the cards. Next I'll remove the console cover. There are two clips at the top and two at the bottom. I'll disengage the bottom clips first. So I'm gonna pull up lightly on the corner here, just enough to disengage the clip. And same for the other one, being careful not to pull up too far because that could break the plastic. And now I'll slide my trim tool under the trim here and pry on it to disengage the clips. So I got the cover loose, but the shifter's in the way. I'll have to shift to neutral to make room for it to come out. Note that shifting out of park and into neutral means that your vehicle can roll freely. To avoid unwanted vehicle movement, the vehicle should be parked on a level surface. This is very important. The handbrake should be fully engaged by pulling it up all the way and wheel chucks should be installed properly on both sides of both front wheels. So I'm gonna make sure that my handbrake is up all the way and put wheel chucks on both of the front wheels. Now I'll turn the ignition to on without starting the car. I'll hold the brake pedal down and shift to neutral. Now that it's in neutral, I'll make sure the vehicle is not rolling. If it rolls, hold the brake pedal down and shift back to park. And now that I made sure the car is still, I'll take the cover out, turn it toward the passenger side, and lift it up over the shifter. And now I'll shift back to park, and turn the ignition off. Now to remove the cigarette lighter panel, there are two clips holding it in, one on the left and one on the right side. I'll use my trim tool to pry on the right side, just enough to release the clip. And now I'll reach underneath and pull it forward to release the other clip on the left side. Alright, so I got it out. To take it out completely, I'll disconnect the electrical connectors at the back. I'm gonna hold the locking tab down to release the connector, and then it can slide out. Some connectors don't slide out easily. Make sure not to pull on the wires if they don't. This one has a tab on the side. I'm gonna hold down the tab and push it out with my trim tool. For safety, never use sharp tools to push the connectors out and be careful that the tool doesn't slip out and into the hand that you're holding the connector with. And finally, there's a harness clip underneath. Just press on both sides to disengage it. And here's the entire piece completely removed from the car. To reinstall it, reconnect the electrical connectors and line it up, then push it back in. If there's a space at the top, that means the guides at the back didn't line up properly. Make sure to tilt the end down when sliding it back in to ensure that the guides fit in their slots. And repeat the earlier steps to reinstall the cover. Push the top clips in first, and then the bottom clips. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me create more videos and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more car, home and other repair videos in the future.